Okay, um, welcome back to my channel, guys. Um, today I will be showing you how to download and install uh, VMware ESSI. Uh, for some of you, you might have noticed that um, or learned that VMware has been, uh, you know, they've been troublesome since um, Broadcom, Broadcom took over. A few years ago, you know, the licensing agreement has changed. So many things have changed about VMware. So, and um, people are already hungry, and a lot of organizations are even trying to even leave VMware. Um, so, yeah, so that's the problem. Even to get the VMware uh, workstation has been an issue, even though they made it free. Uh, and by the way, I made a record, um, I recorded a video on how to install VMware Workstation for free. But just a few weeks ago, uh, they made the ESSI free again. That's ESSI version 8.3. So it's now free. Uh, you don't need license to be able to use it. Uh, I thought that is good news for, uh, especially for the home lab um, community. So now you have a full-fledged hypervisor ESSI that you can use to practice you know, uh, in your home lab and, um, uh, and you know, practice the virtualization platform. So now, um, so this video is just to show you exactly how to download it for free and how to also perform the installation as well. So let's dive into it. So just go to google.com and uh, you can uh, just search for uh, Broadcom, okay? Then you see where they say downloading VMware. So if you click on downloading VMware, it's going to open up an article, right? An article that describes how to download the VMware workstation pro. But we're just going to go through the same process. So the first thing will be to login at the support.broadcom.com so if i right click and i open that page you need to register so you need to register here once you register then you need to log in so i already have um uh i already have a login and uh, i will just go ahead and log in uh, but if you have not registered before, just click register and register, okay? Uh, so I'm just going to log in and uh, so and I'm in, okay? I've already signed in. So if you go back to the uh, um, blog, uh, click on where it says uh, download VMware Workstation Pro. So if I click back on that, it will automatically log you in into that page. So all you just need to do to do is go to my download, and uh, then you will see where it says free software downloads available here. So if I click on that, I will then you can click on division check VMware, then say show results. So as you can see, you can just scroll back. You will see VMware. Vspare hypervisor. So that's the ESSI, the free one. So if you also need uh, VMware Workstation Pro, you can download it here. It's also free. Uh, one of my past video demonstrated how to do this. So but today we'll be downloading and installing VMware Vspare at hypervisor. So I'll just click on it. And uh, so click on it. Then this is the, the uh, version 8.3. I'll just click on it and you can click on the download here. So I'll just click on download, then it will start downloading. Okay, so that is how to download the. So it has finished downloading. So this is how to uh, download it. So the next thing now is to go about how to actually install it. Okay. So now that we have it downloaded, um, so there are two ways by which you can actually install it. 
If you want to install it on a BM meta, uh, meaning you have the server hardware, then you will need, because it's an ISO file, right? So you need to use, uh, um, to make use of, you have to have the USB, that's a USB flash drive, and you need to use uh, an utility we call uh, Rufus. So you just need to, you can say download Rufus, go to Rufus and uh, you can download the latest version. So if you launch the Rufus after it has downloaded, so by this time you will insta you will insert the USB um, your U USB flash drive into your computer. Uh, once you insert it, um, um, now for example, I already have a USB inserted, so it will automatically pick the USB, right? Then you click here to go and select. Sorry, you click here. To go and select the downloaded uh, ISO file, okay, which is this one for the ESSI. So if you double click on it, um, you just need to, uh, you can put a label on it, or it's not really necessary. Uh, then you can now click on uh, start. Make sure that the um, your USB uh, does not have any essential file because it's going to overwrite it. Um, you lose anything that you have on it. So if I click on start, then uh, it's going to uh, write the ISO image. It's going to prepare this USB to be able to start up. Okay. So once the USB is ready, then all you need to do is to now, um, is to plug the USB into your server address. Then you need to go to the BIOS and configure the server to be able to boot from the USB. That's the only thing you need to do. So once you plug in the USB, configure the server to be able to boot from the USB. And that, I mean, then it will boot, then you can now follow the process. So, but uh, I'm not going to use that no. method. I'm just explaining it. But I'm going to use to be able to demonstrate the, um, the installation. I will be using a VMware workstation. So with that, you will be able to follow exactly what I've done. So the only thing is that I'm not using the server anyway. So I'm not going to you know, plug it to the front of the USB to get it started. Uh, but I'm going to, but it's the same process, you know. So once you just plug it into the, um, the uh, USB port on your hardware server, then uh, go to the BIOS settings, uh, configure the server to start using the USB. That's all. Okay, so this is ready, and um, uh, this is just a demonstration. I'm not going to use it. So I will open up my, um, I will open up my VMware workstation. Okay, I open up my VMware workstation since uh, that's what uh, I will be using. This is my VMware workstation. So I will just, um, I will just say, you know, create a new virtual machine. Then I will say next. Uh, then I will need to go and uh, choose the image, the ISO image that I downloaded, which is this one. And um, as it has said, it has detected VMware ESSI 8. So I will just, um, so it's okay, as it said, I will just say next. And I can give it, yeah, I can leave it as VMware ESSI 8. And uh, I normally like to put my VM in a different uh, folder. So I'll put it in D, where I will specify 
E is its high lab. Okay. It's going to restore it there. I'll just say next. Uh, we can just go with the minimum default next. Then I can uh, customize the hardware uh, where we increase the memory. The memory on this laptop I have sixty four gig, so let me just increase. I can increase up to sixteen gig, and um, I will change the NAT to bridge so that I can access it directly. Okay, that's what I need to do at this point. I'll just power it up. So this is equivalent to when you have already inserted the USB into your server hardware and you click on OK, right? So I'll just um, power on, OK? Click inside and press. Yeah, you can see that it has already started the installation. So this is the same, the same thing you see when you um, when you start uh, installing yourself. So you see the same thing. So you can see is uh, it's just loading the installer. Okay. So at this point, if you are adding, um, if you are getting something from this video, please uh, don't forget to like this video um, and please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I will be very grateful if you are able to do that. To subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification button so that you always know when I upload a new video. Okay, and, um, and you can also comment as well. I respond to every comment that you have there. So the installation is going on quite okay. So it doesn't matter whether this is going to, you're going to have the same experience even on the server hardware like this. So uh, this is how it gets uh, installed. So you just wait a couple of minutes for it to, um, to kind of uh, finish up. So it continues, uh, to continue, you need to press enter. Then accept, you have to press F11. Okay. F11. So it continues. Um, where am I installing it? Yeah, it's install. It's going to detect where it wants to install. So we we'll see it should install on the on the disk. So we should press Enter to continue. Uh, enter to continue. Then you need to configure the root password. Okay, you need to have this password to be able to log in subsequently. So, okay, then press enter. Uh, to continue, install F11.
So at this point, the installation is complete. So um, you should now remove the USB. Okay, remove the USB and uh, you can press enter to restart. Okay, so at this stage is restarting. Is restarting at this stage to complete the installation. They should give us an IP by which we can use to um, to administer the ESSI. So the installation is complete. As you can see, is it to manage this, you just need to go to this IP address. So we'll go to this IP address now and see how the interface looks like. Um, so that's uh, 10.4.11. One or three. One or three. Okay, just press enter. And just say advance, proceed. Then this is the SSI interface. The username is root, don't forget. They put the password you set during the installation process. So you press enter and yeah, and this is the interface for um, for the ESSI. Okay, as you can see, if you go to manage and you go to licensing, you can see that the expiration date is never. So this is completely free, which is a very good thing for the community, uh, for the home lab community. So as it is right now, you can now begin to install VMs as much as you can and um, subsequently I'll be doing videos on how to add uh, VMs but uh, but this is just to demonstrate how to download and install the free ESSI. I hope you have learned one or two things. Again, please uh, remember to subscribe to this channel and like the video. Leave a comment if you'd like to see some subsequent, subsequent videos uh, regarding um, virtualization platform and i'll be glad to meet them okay until next time uh uh keep enjoying and i will see you in my next video thank you and bye bye